Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Thing. Uh, Let's Play Legend of Zelda Hyrule's Resurrection. In the last episode, we pretty much did everything we need to do before getting ready to go to face Ganon's palace. Uh, let's see here. However, there is actually something I completely forgot to do and should have done way, way earlier. Uh, you can actually do this after beating level three. And it probably would have been much more useful then. Yeah, okay, whatever. G. Okay, uh, we'll get to that in a second. First, I'm gonna kill these guys. There we go. I don't know why I'm picking up... Ugh, seriously. Okay, there we go. Yeah, ah. Uh, you can do this after level three. It might be useful then. With this jewel, you will take less damage when your life is low. Yeah, this is the peril amulet. I would guess. I mean, they're all based on rings that are f um, that are found in the Oracle games. So that's a thing. So now we're gonna walk back and walk to where Ganon's palace actually is. So yeah, you could have gotten that much much earlier. I probably should have. Uh, so yeah, that, there is only one hole, well, two holes in our inventory left. One of them is for an item we're going to get probably today. And the other one is for the magical, um, or the, the, the mis, what is that thing called? The whimsical amulet, which gives you random crits and is not necessary to beat the game because I have beaten this game without it. So, it's nice. Certainly, but it's not necessary, so. Once again, we walk back. Unfortunately, there are no good warp points for any of this. Screw you. And you. Ah, yes. C totally don't need that. Yeah, these guys take a lot of hits. <sighs> Alright, so you remember way back I showed you that there was a thing in the upper uh, right-hand corner of this place that I said, do not take it. We will not be taking it for a very long time. Yeah, that's... Yeah, just keep going on this screen, which is... No. All anti-fairies, or whatever they are. Kill them. There we go. And... Seriously. There we go. Alright, uh, let's see if I can find that thing again. There we go. I think you can get through here with... Nope. No, you do have to use... Interesting. Normally... You can't see ones that can only be opened. Boom. Whatever. Ugh. Really? Please don't try to jump over those spikes. Unless you have the hover boots. Then you can make it. Yeah. Okay, something with the hover boots I hadn't quite realized is that you basically, once you're up, you're up. You don't have to hold the button. Uh, I believe these spikes are one hit kill. You just hit the button and you will stay up for the entire length of time. There is nothing on any of these screens, so. Ugh. Guinea? Alright, just, uh. You know, be careful and go past them. And. <laughs> Jerk. Ganon's palace is ahead. May the Triforce help you defeat him. Yeah. Well, hopefully, anyway. The Triforce and all the crap I've gathered. 
buy medicine before you go? Which, it's pretty cheap. But we're, we're good, and I managed, I actually managed last time to beat it without using more than one potion. I kind of, given that I'm talking, I doubt I will be that good. So, yeah, you cannot fight these guys. All you can do is dodge. But if you submerge here, we are in Ganon's Palace, level 10. So, the statues in this room shoot at us, joy. And see that statue on the middle right? Dick. You need to put a super bomb there. That will both blow the statue away and open the wall. And then, yeah, ah, uh, this guy. The, um, the hover boots make fighting these guys with the use of the feather rather interesting. I am just gonna tank this fucker. As you can see, well, not just tank the fucker, but I'm not really gonna care too much about one, two, I'm not going to care too much about the damage I'm taking, because seriously. Okay, that door will never open, so... Okay, before I do anything... Now this next room, make sure before you do this... Oh, fuck. I didn't know that happened. Alright, make sure before you do this dungeon, you have Nehru's love. Run in and... Oh, sure. There we go. Um, you will want Nehru's love because this dungeon is full of freaking Death Knight summoners. And the Death Knights, uh, for the most part, if when, when you have Death Knight summoners, you get locked into a room with them. Uh, so you cannot hide. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot that asshole. I keep forgetting that asshole. I should have put a note on my thing. Ah. Uh. All right, guess what? I'm pretty sure when that happens... Yep. So what you want to do, basically, is... Um, oh good, I actually managed to get him before he su su summoned more than one death knight. Yeah, Nehru's love uses a lot of... Um, There we go. There we go. There's only one of them. So, once you kill those guys, you don't have to kill everybody in here, but trust me, it is less hazardous to your health. Uh, you might want to have the feather on they're not as bad in this game as they are in um, Stranded. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I love it when you take one out with the other one's attack. Again, you need to put a super bomb there. Luckily, that will never come back. All right. So now we have these guys. Those blocks ahead of us cannot be removed by any item we now possess. Yeah. Well, if you didn't know, we were going to get some sort of upgrade in this dungeon. Okay, visual sensitivity, people. This next room sucks. This next room sucks royally. Yeah. Okay, so what you've got to do is use your lens of truth. These spikes are one-hit KO. So use your lens of truth and basically just get across there. Okay, now if you go up those stairs, you will go into the upper right hand of the dungeon and fight a Patra 3 for no good reason or reward. So, don't do that. No, instead what you want to do is that. Okay, we can pretty much, this guy is not nearly as bad. Uh, you can tank most of his fireballs. But, you know, try and dodge. Yeah. Because they do hurt. See? I mean, they take a quarter of a heart. 
which isn't necessarily nearly as bad as it could be. Dick. Fuck. <sighs> Let's try that again. Two. Good. Yeah, I was trying to hug the wall. Don't, so, you know, be careful and don't do that. I was just trying to get away from the... <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, honestly, don't care. Uh, don't bother worrying about his freaking fireballs. He cannot do too much damage to you. Luck if you've got the purple mail and the red heart regen. Damn it. Well, that was just... I don't know why I did that. There we go. And we get a key. And if we walk up through here, carefully inspect a certain floor to find your way elsewhere. Yeah, that's actually really cool, but we'll deal with that later. Okay. Now we go this way. Yeah, this room. It's it's a maze. The it's an invisible maze. Some of these are floor tiles. Some of these are blocks. Jamian is kind of a jerk. Okay. You come down here, and now you actually have to hit uh, the block with a hammer. I do think it shows up on the Lens of Truth, but I should have checked. Oh, well. It's not that bad of a maze, especially if you know where it is. Okay, now last time I actually died because I managed to... Um, move a bit too far down. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah. There. Because those spikes will kill you. But now that we have a full three keys, we can move on. I do like the music in here. I'm not sure what it's from. Uh, this is a giant guinea, I guess. I think these guys actually should be Poe's. Uh, you... He can kill you in this doorway. He couldn't kill you from the top doorway, but I don't feel like trying to get there. Honestly, I think try just shooting him. He is... I don't think he's even weak to the sword. He is only weak to arrows, so far as I know. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, if you go nor up, though, you will find... Really? If you go up, you will find that you are blocked off, and he will respawn. It's really not worth it. Really, really not worth it. Oh, good. Arm, or, uh, Death Knight. Armos, they're not... De Death Knight! Dark Nuts, what the hell? Point is that with these guys and the regen, we are pretty, pretty nicely set. There we go. Okay, so we come through here. Yeah, but this is why you needed to get all the keys. And here we have Death Knights, but we don't need to worry about using Neighbor's Love because they cannot hurt us. Uh, you can hit them with the hammer and it will do damage, but it won't break their shields. So honestly, just stand in the door and kill them. And then we have the same thing. Again, they cannot hurt you, so just door spam. Door spam is always a valid option in Jamie Quest. Come on, die. Good. Okay, on to one of my least favorite parts of this area. Yeah. All right. Um, there is this Goma. He cannot hit you while you're in the door. And yes, this is that special ice from the ice cave. So wait. When his eye is open, spam at him. Stay in the door so you don't have to try and dodge. As you can see, he generally is, he will pretty much open his eye in line with you. And there you go. Now, if we go left, there's basically just a crap load of blue wizards. Fuck. No, where we want to come is up here. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, the nice thing is that we do have um, mirror shield now, so we can just sort of sit here and wait. Uh, yeah. You do need to kill this guy. Luckily, he's really not that difficult. All right, but that gets you a key, which you will need. Might as well just do this now and kill all of these little jerks. They do drop hearts, which is nice. All right, you don't have to kill them. Uh, they don't, they, there's nothing. But as you can see, get, getting into that door is going to be a cast iron bitch. What you basically want to do is barely tap. Okay, that worked way better than it did in my test file. Uh, what you want to do basically is tap your um, things. You want to tap your directional pad very, very slowly. Just tiny, tiny taps until you're right in front of the door. All right, so now, now you have to warp right around there. Okay, this place. Um, I would, yeah, Nehru's love as fast as possible, because you're going to need it. And then head for the Death Knight Summoner. He is the guy in the green robes. Good. Once he's dead, kill the Death Knights. Reapply Nehru's love if necessary. There's a bat robe. You'll be fine. Oh, wait, I actually killed the bat robe. Yeah, okay. I mean, for the most part, the bat robe, though, drops, um, actually drops some very nice, they, they like to drop magic things, so don't worry about spamming Nehru's love in here, even if it is really expensive. I am really annoyed with you. Just start shooting at me, dude. Ugh, I hate this guy. There we go. All right. Let's see. First thing we want to do actually is come this way, and you'll see why. Yes, Apatra. Three. Well, that's... Yeah, oh, you cannot uh, hit these guys while you're in the air. So, uh, you keep that in mind. It, it's nice maneuvering because you are completely invincible until you hit the ground, but you can't hurt them. So honestly, just get in and tank. You're really... There we go. Yeah, I hate these guys. There we go. And we get, well, I really shouldn't have gotten that, but whatever. Okay, now we want to bomb down. Uh, and this bit is, yeah, Jamie and Will once again. You might want to jump basically as soon as you enter because, yeah, we've got two oval patras, or no, excuse me, we've got an oval patra, a circle patra, and a patra too. Jamie and, are you familiar with the term overkill? Something interesting, when I was fighting these guys in my test run, I accidentally went back out the hole after I had killed both Patra 1s. Um, the Patra, the Circle Patra 1 takes priority. Yeah, this guy, he, he was fully healed. I don't, I knocked him down to, like, one outer ring guy. And he respawned as a fully healthy Patra 1. So yeah, that's that's kind of nice. We've got the compass. Okay, put on your uh, put on this thing, cause you've got. Yeah, this guy at least cannot kill you from, can't actually get you. So kill all the. You're a jerk, fairy. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, don't need that. Now just wait to kill this guy. You do want everybody in this room dead for what I'm planning. One nice thing is that he, when he starts coming at you, if you hit him with the, uh, you can kind of get him into a loop for a while at least. I'm pretty sure you can, um, yeah. Yeah, they've got, these guys have some very odd hitboxes. Okay. Don't really need that either. Oh, well that was good, doofus. Okay. What you want to do is basically walk across every room in this, every tile in this room twice, or once. Because those will br break and drop you, I think, back in the room with the, where we fought all the Patra Summoners. I'm not sure where they drop you. I'd rather not find out. But yes, if you look very carefully, you can see it's north, west, West, West. There we go. There we go. And we've got some refills here if you want them. Which at this point I guess I do. Um, kill all these guys except one. Because you're going to want to be coming through this room later. This will take you back to that first room where we met the giant guinea. Uh, thank you. So yeah, just kill everybody. Actually, I should go back to the feather after all. Because we're, we're about to find a maze path. There we go, all right. Now just ignore these guys. That was nice. Yeah, see, they don't respawn yet. They will, I think they only, they will eventually respawn, but we're not dealing with them just yet. Welcome to the maze path. It is full of invisible bats, because of course it is. Right, I think I know where I'm going to stop this episode, too. Alright, basically at this point, once you're doing that, uh, basically, once you don't... Once you can do that and you don't hit any more bats, or in, when you, once you hear about ten explosions... Did somebody actually hit me? Alright. So yeah, it's just... You know what? Screw you, Bat. You guys don't do enough damage. I mean, you can see them with the lens of truth, but I don't really consider it worth it. And now just keep heading west. The other thing you could do is just let your boomerang clear the way for you. Okay, this bit. <sighs> this is sort of a maze of uh, water. What you have to do is find the appropriate place to dive. And I'll tell you, it's right there. And then dive there. And oh god, really. Uh, yeah, you may, with, with some places, you probably don't want to use Nehru's Love immediately. Because you get delayed and it gives this asshole time to summon more, um more of his uh, little friends. Just die. Okay. So now it's us versus this twip. Don't go through the door. Uh, if you check your map, you see that you've been over there. That was the one-way door in the room with the goma that gave us the one that key. Um, I'm gonna get off Nehru's Love, because it eats magic like candy. More to the point, it eats magic like me, <laughs> uh, with, uh, chocolate. Or this really amazing chocolate-covered popcorn a woman in my office makes. Oh my goodness. It's, um, popcorn drizzled with white chocolate and milk chocolate. And I don't care what anyone says, I know white chocolate is not technically chocolate, there is no cocoa in it. It's still really good. Okay, this guy is, uh, I guess, looking carefully at the sprite, I think he's supposed to be a giant wall master. But he doesn't actually do any damage to, or damage, he doesn't, you know, take you out, he just hurts you. 
just whack at him with the sword. He is immune to your arrows. But other than that, it's a lot like fighting the giant Gini. Honestly, these guys ought to be Poe's, not Gini. I mean, I know that they're called Gini. But they have multiple eyes, so they ought to be Poe's. Alright. And that got me all my stuff. Alright. This room... You might be confused, but you look at this and hey. Yeah, you can walk through the wall right there. This room, there aren't any hidden enemies. There's an invisible block. You have to know it's there because rooms like that almost always have blocks. Okay, so yeah, neighbors love again. I bet you know what's in here. Okay. That, that worked. That was actually really good. I got a very good spawn. Die. Good, good, okay. Now we can kill these guys fairly standard. Um, I'm gonna put on the, uh... There we go. Gotta love it. You do have to kill them. Come on, just die. All right. Yeah, those guys are a thing. This room, uh, all of these blocks, blocks will move. There's actually a puzzle like this in Stranded. All of these blocks will move at least one space, but only this block will move two. Yeah. All right. This room, what's in here? Let's check. Oh, right, this room is actually a an invisible block maze. You can, yeah, and there's an, an invisible block that you actually have to push, too. It's just, you know, push stuff around. This is a 40-headed Gleok. I think at this point, Jamie is just kind of trolling all of us. But it's not really hard, and it's not really, it's not even tedious. Just stay in the door and spam. It's mostly a case, I, I'm pretty sure this is a case of, check out what I can do. It, it's, it's too ludicrous even for me to be bothered. It's not like, I mean, if there was, if there were a bunch of rooms with 40-headed Gleox, I would probably get annoyed. But this is just, this one is so ridiculous. And as you can see, as we slowly kill off heads, the, you know, the ones flying around die or disappear. Okay, so we got one more thing and I believe there is a Death Knight Summoner in this room. Yes, there is. Uh, yeah, that's, die. I love how they almost always will drop you fairies, the Death Knight Summoners. And so do the, and often the Death Knights too. And we have the magic key. So, and then you come through here. Yeah, you remember this room? It's where we got our third key. It's right next to that room with the really awful, um, with the flashing spikes. Well, not right next to, if I go up, Sorry. Oh, shit. I did not realize these guys would respawn, but I should have. Yeah, left is the room with the flashing spikes. <sighs> let's see. And now that we have... Let's see here. Uh, we're at, But we're at half an hour. There's a little bit of the dungeon to go, and then there's a lot of fighting. So I'm going to actually call it here, since we're at half an hour. So thank you guys for joining me for uh, Hyrule's Resurrection, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.